In this session, we introduce the concept of time delay, or also known as dead time. Just let's take a simple example of a distillation column. Suppose you make a change in the reflux flow. So think about if we are making change in the reflux flow, so there will be change in both in the XD and XB. Okay. Now if we think at if we made a change in the reflux flow at sometimes, suppose this is your T0. The distillation XT was at value something like this one, and it will may change it to another, go to another steady value. Now, what happens to the XB? We plot XB, you see that XB will also increase, but how does it increase and what time does that? So, initially, XB got some value. You can see that because. The XD is directly coming from this top uh, plate, but the reflux also is going. So the effect of this reflux change on XD will be quicker than the effect on XB, meaning the change start. You know, here we're not talking about the quick response in terms of the rate of change. However, when it starts. So, with, so suppose there are 40 trays in the distillation column. So, you can assume that, okay, the liquid coming all the way to here to make that change, the XP composition may not start changing immediately, rather after certain time. So, this time between when you make a change in the input or one variable and see the change in the other variable, that's what is called this time delay. Now think about another example. If you have a tank, and you have a heater. So if you make a change in the heater power, and the water is being used at two different places. So suppose it's something what are going on at one place. If you have a thermocouple there, say this, suppose T, and you have another thermocouple down the road, another place, say T1. Okay. Now, if you make a change in the heater power, this way, so you may observe the change in the temperature, but this temperature change may be here, it's something like this. And T1, if you plot it, it may look like this one. So there will be some delay depending on where you put the thermocouple. Okay. Now, how to express this mathematically? So if we have this T1, you have the function T2, you have got it. Now T1. This may be t t minus some so suppose some theta. What it simply means that this t one is the value of t, but what happened like ten minutes earlier, depending on the delay. So what you are observing now, suppose you are observing at one place, that is the same as an another place. What happened? Say. 10 minutes earlier. So that's represent this theta. Okay. Now to be mathematically correct, we need to express this as multiply by this direct delta function, meaning that before this time theta that was 0 and after time theta it's equal to this t t. Okay. So now how to express it in the Laplace domain? So if you have this, then T T minus theta 
the Laplace domain is equals simply whatever the original function times it were negative theta s. Okay. So suppose for this t t versus q was expressed as a first order transfer function. So what will have t1 s will be k over tau s plus 1 times it by minus theta s q s. So this type of transfer function, you know that we know when there is this part is called first order and with a delay term, this is called first order plus time delay that model. So we'll always refer to the term that okay, find a first order plus time delay model. Okay. So that one aspect of this time delay. Okay. Now how to get this inverse Laplace of this time delay when you have model in this form. Okay. Suppose you got T1s or for QS equals 1 over sorry m over s, we'll get T1s equals km s tau s plus 1 into the minus theta s. Okay. So we know that Laplace inverse of km over s tau s plus 1 equals km 1 minus to the negative t over tau. Okay. So now if we take this Laplace inverse, so we know that Laplace of this equals this. So if we take Laplace inverse of this should be equal to this. However, the t should be replaced by t minus theta. So we'll have simply Laplace inverse km minus theta s will be km 1 minus replace this t by t minus theta and to be correct you'll have to this term t minus theta which represents that before time theta the function was 0. So represent this term okay so that's the laplace inverse of this first order plus time delay model now there is another aspect we'll also consider for time delay that suppose you have two tank in series and you're trying to model the second tank level for a change in the first tank input. Okay, we know that for this case, our transfer function becomes now. If we plot it, the response will look like not this for the first tank. It will be like this, the level H1. For the second tank, the response will be something like this one. If you have a third tank, if you have a fourth tank, if you have n number of tanks, depending on the number of tanks, you will end up getting something. Now, in many cases, we see that we can really model this type of response by a first order. What it simply means that we are considering, so suppose for this one, I want to model by first order. So, we'll assume a curve something like this, a first order model with some time delay. Basically, what it means that you are considering the response, the sluggish response at the beginning is because you are making a change in the flow inlet that's making a change in the level here that's causing a change in the outlet flow and that causing a change in the level in the second tank so we have this initially not the sharp change in the first tank as the first the initially the change in is sluggish okay so you can assume that behavior by 
a simple first order plus time delay model meaning not necessarily you will model this level of liquid in the second tank to the flow inlet to the first tank by second order model rather by a first order plus time delay model what simply it means in in terms of our physical interpretation is that instead of considering there is a tank in between you are considering there is a long pipe in between okay so if there is a like you know instead of this tank if there is a pipe the model will be first order but with some time delay because the change there will not cause the change in the flow immediately but after a certain time so you can consider the second order plus second order model also by first order plus time delay model so let us see that when the change is something like this one will consider to be a first order model but with a delay term that will be another use of this time delay 